Hey guys, it's Joe Snell. Facebook uncovers a Palestinian hacker network targeting journalists, human rights activists, and government critics. A Syrian missile explodes near a secretive Israeli nuclear reactor. And Iraq plays mediator to the first direct talk in years between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Let's catch you up on these headlines from around the region. We begin in Palestine, where Facebook said on Wednesday it discovered and dismantled a hacker network used by the intelligence service of Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The report said that the network attempted to keep tabs on journalists, activists, and political critics. By using fake accounts, the network sought to build trust with people they targeted and then tricked them into installing malicious software. The discovery comes only weeks ahead of the Palestinian parliamentary elections. Moving on to Israel, where an Israeli spokesperson said that a Syrian missile overflew its target and landed near a secretive nuclear reactor. Warning sirens went off before a loud explosion was heard in the Damana area as a missile exploded mid-air, according to Israeli security forces. No injuries or damage was reported. In retaliation, Israel attacked several air defense systems in Syria. Finally, in Iraq, it was revealed this week that the first round of direct talks between regional rivals Saudi Arabia and Iran took place earlier this month. The talks reportedly included top officials from both sides and signal a possible de-escalation following years of animosity and proxy wars. One of these wars is still ongoing in Yemen between a Saudi-led coalition against Iran-backed Houthi rebels. Now hang on before you go, here's a list of a few events coming up in the week ahead. On Monday, Palestinian leaders discussed the possibility of postponing the upcoming elections. Also on Monday, the UN Security Council reviews the latest report by a global chemical weapons watchdog after it revoked Syria's voting rights within the organization. And on Wednesday, the deadline hits to submit candidacies for the upcoming Syrian presidential election. That's your MENA news for this week and some for next week. For more reading on the region, make sure to visit our website. Until next week, stay safe everyone. I'm Joe Snell.